Hello there guys, welcome to my channel Travel Wonderful. In today's videos we are in the beautiful island of Sardinia, one of the most amazing places in Europe and in the world. Very famous for its crystal clear waters and very exclusive places such as Porto Cervo in Costa Esmeralda. Remember to subscribe to our channel if you like this video and leave a comment below regarding your favorite places in Sardinia. Enjoy the video, Travel Wonderful. Sardinia, the second largest island of the Mediterranean Sea, is famous for having the bluest waters you can ever imagine. So get ready, as in this video we show you the best beaches and places to visit in Sardinia. Viva Sardinia! <laughs> So we are here with the specialist of Sardinia, Hello. Mr. Good Jody. Morning. Welcome to Sardinia from San Teodoro. We are in La Chinta Beach, it's the most famous beach in San Teodoro. How you can see the color of the water. In the background there is Tavolara Island. La Chinta Beach in San Teodoro is one of the longest beaches in northeast Sardinia and one of the most popular and best beaches of Sardinia. La Chinta Beach has clean blue waters and brilliantly white sand. Beach chairs are available to rent as well as paddle boats. And on windy days, La Chinta Beach is a great spot for windsurfing and kitesurfing. Cat lessons both for beginners and advanced are available and can be arranged at the nearby hardcore surf and kite shop. Enjoying a lot. So we are in a boat. One of the activities to do in here, take a boat and enjoy this beautiful sea. Not far from La Chinta Beach, we can reach Calabrandinki Beach, located roughly 7 kilometers north of San Teodoro and 2 kilometers east of the small village of Monte Petrosu has a very special place in our hearts. Calabrandinki Beach faces east and is over 700 meters long. Being one of the most beautiful and famous beaches of Sardinia, it is known as Little Tahiti because of the gorgeous colors of its waters. The beach has amazingly clear and shallow waters, making this beach perfectly suitable for families with small children. It shouldn't come as a surprise that Calabrandinki Beach is very popular each summer. It has won a place in the top 10 of beaches of Italy many many times. And you can see why. From this paradise we move into another one. Porto Taverna Beach, located on the east coast of Sardinia, offers an enchanting mix of light blue, crystal clear water, a gentle sloping beach and a soft transition into a lagoon, home of many bird species. Another highlight offered by the surrounding landscape of this beautiful beach is the stunning views of Tabulara Island in the background. This is an amazing place to spend a relaxed day at the beach, longer hire and a lovely cafe included. There is a car park also near the beach. What a paradise! Now we move to Castel Sardo, located in the northern coast of Sardinia. It's a very charming town and a hidden treasure, which offers a very ancient and authentic insight into the medieval site of the island. That's Castel Sardo in the background. And this is the port of Castel Sardo. Wonderful! From the port of Castel Sardo, you can take a boat and enjoy the beautiful waters near Castel Sardo and the open sea. Look at this amazing translucent water.
Near Castel Sardo we can find very ancient and prehistoric sculptures such as Roca del Elefante, Rock of the Elephant. Hello guys, so here behind us is Roca del Elefante. Its translation is Rock of the Elephant and it's a very prehistoric uh, tomb in which the villagers used to put their boss after he dies. So basically it's a very prehistoric tomb and it's one of the main attractions here near Castel Sardo in Sardinia. Uh, so enjoy the look inside. The Elephant Rocks is a large boulder of volcanic rocks eroded by the atmospheric agents that give it shape of an elephant. It is about 4 meters high. The Elephant Rock has a great archaeological importance because of the ancient tombs dating back to the prehistoric period. Not far from Castel Sardo, we also had the opportunity to visit Senori, an important municipality 10 kilometers from Sassari in the northwestern part of Sardinia, famous for its agricultural and artisan products, as well as sacred and prehistoric sites. The town of Senori is believed to be emerged during the Roman age as a garrison village, mentioned for the first time in documents written in 1082. Continuing our beach hunting adventure, we arrive now to Capriccioli. In the northeastern part of Sardinia, a small peninsula divides a little corner of paradise in two. Here, there is a beach with fine light sign, surrounded by granite rocks and a breathtaking view of the little islands of the Costa Esmeralda. Capriccioli Beach, located in the south of Porto Cervo, easily belongs to the list of the most beautiful beaches of Costa Esmeralda. This rather small beach, with a length of 200 meters, is surrounded by an abundance of lush Mediterranean brush, with olive and pine trees. The beach is divided into two parts by enormous granite rocks. Facing east, Capriccioli Beach offers beautiful views of the island of Mortorio which can only be reached by small boats. Also, Capriccioli offers panoramic views of the island of Sofi and Le Chemere, both situated roughly 2 km off the coast. Definitely one of the best choices when visiting Costa Esmeralda. Look at the different tonalities of the blue in the water. From here we move into Porto Cervo, the heart of Costa Esmeralda. It's a paradise where glamour, luxury and glossy nightlife meet with gorgeous beaches and emerald sea. Porto Cervo in the hamlet of Arsacina is the symbol of luxury vacations in Sardinia, where hotels offer amazing suites of hundreds of square meters. Porto Cervo Marina is also one of the biggest tourist ports of the Mediterranean Sea. As the summer goes on, the yachts get bigger and bigger. Between July and August, Porto Cervo Square Fashion hosts celebrities and VIPs, filling newspaper with summer gossip. From Porto Cervo, we move into another must see, Rena di Ponente Beach. It is approximately 400 meters long and faces southwest, featuring beautiful vistas of the rock coastline of Capotesta and the deep blue waters of Bajalacolba. Hi guys, now we are in the beautiful beach of Reina di Ponente, located in the area of Santa Teresa di Galura. And this beach also offers uh, crystal clear waters and white sands. And an amazing peculiarity about this beach is that on the background, you can see the island of Corsica, France. So, have a look. So it's basically enjoying two paradise in one. This strip of land connects the coast of the mainlands of Sardinia with the promontory of Capotesta. 
The area is uniquely characterized by dunes that extend all the way to the southeastern end of the Isthmus. Elegant and rich history and facing the Straits of Bonifacio, Santa Teresa Galura is one of my favorites. Unique nature, beautiful landscapes and dream beaches make it a must visit when visiting Sardinia. Elegant buildings in pastel shades line the main streets that lead to the central square, which is the hub of the city life. Small boutiques, nightclubs, cafes and welcoming shops are all found in the historic Old Center, which in summer is even more lively. The town tourist port is one of the most important in Galura and connects the island with nearby Corsica, thanks to the Santa Teresa Bonifacio ferry routes. Heading towards the sea, you get to Longorsardo Tower, which dates back to the 16th century. It is the largest tower built by the Spaniards in Sardinia. It dominates the panorama looking out over Corsica. This is a symbolic site in Santa Teresa, where taking a holiday picture is a must. And which one is your favorite place and beach in Sardinia? Let us know in the comments below, activate your notifications and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.